Hello guys. So in this video, we're going to look at how we're going to segregate our IoT um, VPN network away from every other network. So this is the idea that any device on that that's connected to that IoT network has absolutely no access to any other device um, on a different network. So if you re if you remember by default, the edge router X will will automatically route between the subnets. Uh, this isn't what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some firewall rules to um, to prevent that behavior. So I've put the I've put the full rules in the blog post, but I'm going to show you how to um, put them in the UI uh, in this video. So if we click on firewall and go to firewall groups, and we need to add a new group, we're going to add a network group. And this group is basically going to define all private networks. So just, we'll, we'll make it a network group, press save. And we're going to go back and uh, go to the config of this. We're going to add a new group. We're going to add 192.168.0.04/16. And that's everything in that range. Then we're going to do the 172.16.0.04/12. And then we're going to do 10.0.0.04/8. We're going to save that. So we now have a grouping that we can use in our firewall policies. So we're going to click on file policies, add a new rule set. Uh, we're going to call this the IoT in. And our default action is going to be accept on this one. So save that rule set. Then we're going to go and edit that rule set. So edit the rule set. Um, so we're going to create a new rule. This new rule is going to be called um, accept established and related. Uh, the action is going to be to accept. Um, we're going to have we're going to do all protocols. Um, and then what we want from this, if you want to go to advanced, we want to tick established and related. And we will save that. going to create another rule and this rule is going to be called drop local destination and the action is going to be drop then what we're going to do here is we're going to keep the protocol as all protocols then we're going to go to this destination tab because this is what we're telling it what we want to drop and we're going to choose a network group and we're going to choose our uh, local networks and uh, press save on that and we're not going to, at the moment, assign this to an interface just yet. We're just going to create the rule sets at the moment. So the next rule set we're going to create is IoT local. And this has a default action of drop. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to go and ed edit the rule set of this. We, again, we're going to create two rules. The first rule is going to be called DNS. It's going to have a action of accept. The protocol is going to be UDP, um, and the destination is port 67. And we're going to save that. So what that allows is it allows um, it allows devices on that network to access DNS uh, effectively. And we're going to do the same for DHCP. So we're going to accept. We're going to call it DHCP. Um, we're going to go UDP destination port 67. Save. Okay, so we're now going to go and assign these to interfaces. So we're going to go back to the IoT in. I'm going to go to edit rule set, go to interfaces. Now we want this to be on ETH2 and in. Remember that ETH2 is our IoT VPN network. So if we save that rule set. Wait for that to save and then close it. And then on the local one, we're going to go to interfaces. We're going to go ETH2 and local. We're going to save this rule set. And that should be um, all you need to do. But 
we are going to um, prove that this is working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and remove the two interface assignments that we've just made. So we're back to where we were. The rule sets s still exist, but they're just not applied effectively. And what I have, which you can't see, but what I have is another machine here, which is on that IoT network. And I'm just going to uh, prove this right now by pinging it. There we go. OK, because I can't show you the other machine, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, connect to that other network, the um, Asus IoT network there. And I'm going to connect the other machine to the Asus network that we were just on. So I'm effectively sw swapping them. So that's connected. Let me just check the IP address. So we've now got a, a 3.39. Um, if I just go to um, 3.1 here, should get back to the interface. OK, so I've got all that set up now. So if I go and show you on this on my computer, I'm now on the IoT network with an IP address of 192.168.3.39. What I've done is I've, I've remote desktoped into the other machine, and you'll see that's 192.168.4.43. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a command prompt on that other machine. And I'm going to ping 3.39 continuously, and you'll see um, it pings continuously. Um, is it 43? Yes, 4.43. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable those firewall policies and we'll see what happens. So ETH2 in, save. And if I go to the other one, ETH2, local, and save. Now, what should have happened? I'm on the IoT network, so actually I shouldn't be able to access this, this computer anymore, but it looks like I can. And on the command prompt, again, that looks like I can. Now, that, that is due to this... Uh, in our IoT rule, we created except established and related. We're already connected. So if I, that, I think that's why it allows it, th th allows it through. So if I disconnect from that and stop the ping, and then try again, it's not allowed to create a new connection. So this isn't going to work. And if I just, there we go, didn't work. And if I try and ping again, nothing, no, no response at all. So that's working as we'd want. Um, the IoT network cannot access the other network. So now the question is, can it access the internet? Well, let's go and have a look. Um, Google. So at the moment, it looks like DNS isn't working. So let's just go and see if the internet itself is working. So we're going to just ping a known IP address. Um, OK, so the first one failed, but the rest, yeah. So the internet's working uh, generally, but it looks like DNS isn't working. So let's try and connect to our edge router. Now, what we'll find, because of the firewall rules that we've just created, we won't be able to access it. So if I try and ping 3.1, Oh, sorry, dot three dot one. Um, 
we won't be able to access it because of the firewall that we just created. So I have to reconnect back to, to the main network in order to access the firewall in order to troubleshoot. So I'm just going to do that now. OK, so I'm reconnected back to the main network and uh, everything looks fine. I'm just going to check that the internet works on the main network. Yeah, all looks good. So now I'm going to try and figure out why DNS wasn't working. OK, so the first place I'm going to look is in the firewall rules. So if we go to the, the, the local rules and go edit rule set, um, DNS, ah, DNS port 67. So it looks like I've made a mistake there. If we go back here and change that to port 53 for DNS and press save. Close that and then close that again. And then what we'll do is we'll reconnect back to the IoT network just to double check everything. Okay, connected. Let's just check our IP address. Let's try and ping google.com. Okay, that looks like it's working. And we'll go to google.com. Taking its time. Let's try again. And it's just sprung into life. Let's just try again. Yeah, there we go. So Google appears to be working, and the internet in general appears to be working. So that's all working. Just to confirm this, I'm going to reconnect back to the normal ASUS network. And I'm going to connect my other laptop here onto the IoT network. So if I check my IP address here, I have uh, 4.40 and my other machine here has 3.42. So if I ping 192.168.3.42, um, I'm able to see it. Now this is because we have only disallowed the IoT network to our main network. We haven't disallowed our main network to the IoT network. So I'm I'm okay with that at the moment. That might be something that I want to come back and ch and change in the future. But at the moment, I'm good with that. 